every up and down, I know you're with me. Through thick and thin, I know you'll never leave. Your perfect peace surrounding me. Here and now, I know you see me. I am found and you have made me free. Nothing can stop your love for me. Why, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Excuse me, sir, I believe the thanks belong to you. Not one thanks to me, but many thanks to you. To you. You, you. Thank 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 you. <sighs> Gratitude is exhausting. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. Thanks. For what? For saying that. For saying what? For saying welcome to the So and So Show. Oh, uh, did you want to do it? No, that's why I said thank you. You know, there are so many reasons to say thank you. In fact, let's find out some more with someone who knows stuff. Hans! All right, welcome! Yes, welcome. Thank you uh, for being here. Can you uh, tell everyone who you are and what you know? Yeah, 
I am Hans Decimal, sound collector. Yeah, so you collect sounds. Yeah, this is correct. And what sounds are you collecting today? Sounds made from this. <laughs> The voice box. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, the... The, the voice box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is language but a grouping of sounds? Ah, ko, wu, u, yi, zzz, pu. But when we put certain sounds in order, th, a, n, k, y, u, they mean something. <laughs> Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, this is correct. One of the greatest combinations of sounds in the English language. Thank you. So I have collected sounds of people saying thank you in various circumstances. Oh, okay, that sounds fun. Not fun, but good, yeah. Oh, yes, good. Yeah. 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 This is the sound of someone saying thank you to a stranger who opens the door for them. Hmm. Oh, thank you. That was... Profound! This is correct. Mm -hmm. Next, this is the sound of someone saying thank you after someone else lets him cut in line at the grocery store and they notice that their cart only had two items as compared to the other cart which had a full set of groceries. Thank you. That was a... Uh, mm. This is correct. I, it just feels like they, they, they need to be a little more specific or something. Yeah. It is taking the time of saying the thank you that is most important, Brandon. Okay. Uh, do you have any more? Is the sun shining? I don't know. We're in a basement. Oh. Yeah. This is correct. Well, the sun is shining. Okay. And I always have more. Great. So... This is the sound of someone saying, thank you for climbing a tree and saving the cat of this family whose name is Bill. Thank you. Someone named her cat Bill? Ah, uh, nine. The cat's name is actually William, but they call him Bill for short. Ah, she's not used to animals having human names. You know, normally they're called Fluffy or, or Marshmallow. Or... I don't name the cats, John. I just collect the sounds. So. Oh. This. This is seeing a fish. And the fish is so beautiful. It's that it makes you want to dance and cry at the same time. And so you must express your gratitude to the fish. <laughs> Oh, that, that's interesting. I, I didn't quite understand it. What did, he, what did he say? Let me play it again. Thank you? Yeah! This is correct. <laughs> and finally, I'll let this one be a surprise. What was that? This was the sound of a person who had fallen out of a tree on und hike and is thanking the person of putting their broken leg in a splint who is now carrying them away from the danger of a bear that is chasing them both. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Wow. But they still found the time to say thank you. And this is what is most important. Hans, that's all the time we have for today. I appreciate you coming by. Mm -hmm. So thank, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You are both so very welcome. <laughs> Uh, it's Bible story time!
What's up, friends? Just learning all the ways to say thank you. Yeah. Well, our story today has to do with someone saying thank you to Jesus. Oh, well then take it away. You can read this story yourself in the book of Luke. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, and as he was going into a village, he came upon 10 men with a terrible skin disease. Because of this disease, these men were outcasts. No one wanted anything to do with them, but they called out to Jesus and he stopped and... Do you hear that? Hello, Don Slightly here for Ancient News, where we get to the bottom of life's most ancient questions, like hot dogs. Are they a sandwich? But right now, we give you this breaking ancient news update. Ten men with a terrible skin disease just met Jesus. Yes, that Jesus, as Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem. We go now live to two of the gentlemen right now. Gentlemen, welcome. Hello, Don. Have we got a story for you? So you actually met Jesus? We did. You know, we've heard stories about Jesus. He's famous around these parts. So when he came walking up the road, we couldn't believe it. Could not believe it. And well, what did you do when you saw him? Oh, we started yelling at him. Oh, yelling at, oh, at Jesus? Oh, yeah, but not like angry yelling, just like excited yelling. We were yelling to him because we have this skin disease. Not have. Had. We had. <laughs> right, had. We had a terrible skin disease, and we shouted for Jesus to have mercy on us. And what did Jesus do? He told us to go show ourselves to the priests. So we started that way when suddenly we looked at each other and we were all healed. The skin disease was gone. It was a miracle. Oh, 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 I just thought of something. I'll be right back. Healed by Jesus, a miracle. Well, that's all the ancient breaking news we have for now. Back to you. Well, as crazy as that was, that is just the beginning of the story. Jesus told these 10 men to show themselves to the priests and they were healed while they were walking there. Can you imagine? You've had this terrible disease and you're just walking with your friends and realize they're all healed. Well, one of the men, Okay, I guess there's some, you know, let's just go with it. Don Slightly back with more breaking news. But before we do, let's thank our sponsors. Water. When you're thirsty, water. We now have one of our healed men back with us. Can you tell us just what happened? Sorry I ran away so fast. I just got to thinking. I had to go back and thank Jesus. Hmm, well, it seems reasonable. Yes. So. I went back just praising God, and I fell to Jesus' feet and said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you said, thank you. Yes. I mean, I always try to thank people that do something kind for me. You have to make time for that sort of thing. But this was Jesus. I mean, he changed my life. The least I could do was say thank you. And what did Jesus say when you- Well, he asked- Where are the other nine men? <laughs> I mean, that, that's what I'd be asking. Yes, yes, that's exactly what he asked. All right, well, hold on. We're bringing in one of the other nine men that were healed right now. Hey, what's going on? Question for you, sir. Have you thanked Jesus since you've been healed? Who, me? Yes, you. Oh, no, I don't have time to say thanks. I gotta live my life, make up for lost time. I mean, look at this smooth skin. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Slightly. Gotta go. Well. What did Jesus say after you thanked him? He said, didn't anyone else return to give praise to God except this outsider? I think he was surprised that me, a Samaritan, was the only one that came back. There are some people that treat me kind of badly because of where I'm from, but not Jesus. He told me to get up and go, that my faith had healed me. What a story. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Well, that's all we have here at Ancient News. Tune in tomorrow when we discuss papyrus. Paper? Font? What's next? Papyrus AI? Back to you. Jesus healed 10 men, and only one of them took the time to come back and say thank you.
It seems crazy. But if we're honest, sometimes we forget to say thank you when someone does something nice for us. It's important to remember to have gratitude and to let people know when you're grateful. Back to you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, what a great story. Uh, yeah, can you believe that only one person went back and said thank you to Jesus? Yeah, I, I guess it's easy to forget sometimes. Yeah. I'm forgetting something right now. Yeah, me too. Oh, reveal the question. No, that's not it. Yes, it is. Shh. What helps you remember to be grateful? Oh yeah, it's easy for me to remember to have gratitude when it's a routine, like every time I eat, I remember to thank God for my meal. Yeah, and if it's not a routine, maybe it would help you remember if you really paid attention to what the people around you are doing. Mm. Like uh, when you see someone in your house doing your laundry or, or washing your dishes or, or doing anything for you, just remind yourself to just say thank you. Yeah. Oh, and same with other people in your world. You can thank your teachers for helping you learn or uh, oh, your postal carrier for bringing the mail. Yeah, there are lots of people who deserve our gratitude. It's up to us to take time to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Brandon, for doing the show with me yeah, today. My pleasure, thank you. Thank and you. thank you for watching. Yeah, and we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Thank you. Thank you thank for you. watching. Thank you, thank you for watching thank you the show thank you for acting. with me. Thank you for show. doing thank what you. you're doing. Thank you. You're falling out of a plane on your parachute fails and your diving partner catches up to you in the air and catches you under their parachute. Thank you! Oh, thank you! <laughs> All right, okay, okay, you're on a roller coaster uh -huh. and the person next to you reminds you to put on your seatbelt. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Okay, okay, uh, uh, you, you, you've been dying of thirst and somebody gives you a pineapple. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>